di pasar Gong Tok Nasi sebagai menteri KPDN walaupun bukan bidang kuasa saya tetapi kesian dengan peniaga-peniaga uh, di sini kita tengok gerai-gerai uh, yang tidak teratur tanah yang sebenarnya strategik saya harap insyaAllah sama ada kerajaan Malaysia Madani atau kerajaan Tengganu yang ada pada hari ini kita akan cuba untuk berbuat sesuatu mereka adalah peniaga-peniaga kecil yang komited mereka orang Melayu dan kenapa kita tak boleh untuk bangunkan kawasan seperti ini untuk mereka menambah rezeki mereka jadi insyaAllah kita akan bawa dan pasukan kementerian dan dalam bulan ini saja saya rasa telah tujuh atau lapan kali kami mengadakan lawatan terus ke pasar raya ataupun hapa market ataupun kedai-kedai uh, uh, runcit di beberapa kawasan di seluruh negara. Beberapa hari ini ada dakwaan yang mengatakan harga barang-barang keperluan rakyat naik mendadak. Maka kerajaan Malaysia Madani telah pergi sendiri. Dan bukan kerana tuduhan itu pun, memang tanggungjawab KPDN setiap hari kita memantau dan mengawal harga-harga barangan asah rakyat. Maka dengan ini, sekali lagi saya menyatakan tinjauan Malaysia's Domestic Trade and Cost of Living Minister Salahuddin Ayub died on Sunday following surgery over brain hemorrhage. He was 61 years old. This was confirmed by his daughter Fatina Salahuddin in a Facebook post. We are saddened to inform that the head of our family Salahuddin Ayub died at 9.23 p.m. on July 23, 2023, she posted. Salahuddin's press secretary Siaklin Husnal said in a statement that Salahuddin died at the Sultanah Bahiyar Hospital in Kedah. He said Salahuddin's remains would be taken to his mother's home in Kampung sector and that the minister's office would provide further information regarding funeral arrangements soon. He added that the deceased family would like to express their utmost appreciation and gratitude to everyone for their prayers and condolences. They also wish to thank all the doctors and staff at the Sultana Bahia Hospital, she say, he said. On Saturday, Siaklin said that the minister was taken to the emergency ward of the HSB at the around 10.15 p.m. on Friday after suffering from nausea and vomiting before being diagnosed with a brain hemorrhage by a specialist. Salahuddin leaves behind his wife Fatima Taha and six children. Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim described the demise of Salahuddin as a huge loss for him personally and his family. Admitting to being affected by the sad news, the Prime Minister said that the services of Salahuddin, who was also the Amanah Deputy President, could not be materially repaired. He was known for being of an esteemed character, be it to his friends or, her, or forwards. A strong figure who works and is very obedient to trust and responsibility. May he so rest in peace. Thank you so much for